sleep on some, all that humidity. It's uncomfortable, but I'm gonna use that as a tarp. Now that's a complete fail. here I've finally brought my kayak out it's my nice ocean kayak Prowler 13 I have yet to add my uh, fishing rods and all my lures but uh, check this out now this is the first time coming to Rocky Creek Park it's not part of the Texas Parks and Wildlife. Uh, I believe it's part of the Army something. I, I have to post it on there, but I forgot where it was from. But anyways, you got to reserve online. But uh, I came out here to show you guys. This is my first time, so right now you can see here my campsite has a picnic table and a grill and a firing in case you want to burn some wood out here for the night but knowing me I always forget things and sure enough I forgot bringing I forgot the firewood but maybe if I go to the store in a little bit see if there's one nearby I'll give me some firewood if not Oh well, I learned my lesson. But uh, let me continue bringing my stuff outside. Uh, let me unpack. And I'll show you the rest of my trip. So this is the fire, the fire ring that I was telling you guys about. Of course, I forgot the firewood. And uh, the campsite comes with this out here it's a, little, it's a bit dirty but all you need is onion and behind me will be the parking lot area there's maybe like six spots here and a few spots over there but if you go down that way it'll just loop around and come back this way along that area down there it's closed I guess for construction might have flooded back back then but you see there let me zoom in those are the restrooms now I was gonna do primitive this time but I was in a rush I just woke up one morning and I said let me go camping gone to the website and well actually I went to Google Maps looked up Rocky Creek Park by Somerville and I reserved it online this is my first time and so far I like it next time I'm gonna bring the family but I'm just gonna stay for one night and I forgot my firewood I don't know why I forgot it I'm gonna see if there's a gas station nearby if there is hopefully they have firewood if not oh well next time I'll, I'll try and do it again but lesson learned don't forget your firewood but look at this nice beauty it's a nice camping area especially when you're out here with the family all right i hope you can see me in the frame but this is the the backpacking tent that i wanted to review for you guys this is the lynx one by alps mountaineering you see i just bought it still has a tag that's how it'll look once it's assembled hopefully uh, it comes with the rain fly or the rain cover but since it's nice and breezy I'm going to leave it at, uh, without the rain fly and I check the weather and it's not going to rain but let 
let me unpack it. And uh, I want to make sure the camera's in, in view of me uh, unpacking this. So here we go. about an idea since I forgot my tarp I was in a rush it was a last minute uh, reservation I'm gonna use this as a tarp I mean if it protects you from water it should protect you from all the uh, humidity that you know once you sleep on something all that humidity it's uncomfortable but I'm gonna use that as a tarp oh my god Don't forget to add the stakes. It's very windy out here and that's the biggest mistake I made already. So anyways, I had the stakes, that way the wind doesn't take it again. This is a nice one person tent. It's nice. I got no issues with it. There's mesh all around. You can see all around, uh, I guess you can see a 360. It also has the mesh on the top and if I wanted to add the rain fly obviously I'll attach it to these bars here but I'm not gonna do that I don't think it's gonna rain if it is I'll keep it next to me that way I can add it quickly you guys I unpacked everything set up the tent put the tarp under it and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my kayak maybe fish a little and I don't know if you guys can see down that way but the islands like right there 
so my mission for today is to kayak down there and uh, if it's a good spot I'm gonna camp over there and leave this one here but I uh, use this as an access point so yeah enough talking more paddling before it gets dark You know, it's been a, a couple years since I've taken out the kayak. It was long overdue. I forgot how peaceful it is to come out here in the water and do some fishing on the kayak. Some people might see it boring, but I don't think so. Then again, everybody has their their things to uh, keep themselves busy. And as for me, this keeps me busy and happy. Even if I don't catch anything, at least I could say. I took the kayak out, or I went fishing. Water's getting choppy. This is a workout. And we're here, folks. But it was completely worth it. As you can see, ain't nobody around. So I worked up an appetite. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cook some uh, some rice, or I believe I brought some uh, mac and cheese that's sealed in the package, the one that you add the hot water in. So I've never tasted it, but we'll see how it tastes. And on to the next one. This is the uh, the meal I was telling you about. I bought this in Academy. Use the chicken fajita bowl. It's 
18 grams of protein, so you know it'll fill me up. Uh, so pretty much what you gotta do is just heat up the water, add it in there, leave it in there for 10 minutes, and stir it, and that's it. So this is my first time trying this, so we'll see how good it is. I also have the chili mac with beef. I might try this a little bit later. Now this is the uh, the jet boil. With this one, I'm gonna heat up some water. And uh, what I like about this one, you can add. About two cups of water. You know, if you if you want some coffee, heat it up. You know, but I'm not a coffee drinker, but uh, I did bring some uh, some chocolate. You know, maybe tonight I'll heat up some chocolate. But uh, inside, you can fit this canister in there. It's a nice little small propane tank, also a butane tank. This goes first pretty much. And then the uh, the bottom piece, obviously that gives off the flames. And the stand if you had a, if you have like a little cooking pot, you could put it on top of this. So pretty much you gotta screw in the uh, the tank on there. You'll hear it as soon as it it's nice and tight. So this you're gonna turn it counterclockwise to the positive and then you click on this to spark the flame. I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's on. It's too bright so you can't see the flames. These legs here, you pretty much open them up and you add the canister on there. Now you can see there's two indentions, so obviously the first one is going to be for the smallest one. You can also get the bigger one and uh, it'll fit in there, so it's perfect. The way you can tell if the uh, the water is ready, you'll see this start to change colors. It'll change into uh, orange color. But I poured about a cup and a half of water. You can see it's it's already trying to boil. This thing is powerful. So when it's ready, it'll turn orange. And it's real hot. I'm gonna wait a little bit for it to warm up so I could put it in the bag. And then bon appetit. You can see it there. It's all little pieces. It's dry and it's, I guess you gotta take this packet out obviously. as soon as you're done putting it in the boiling water 
just let it sit there for five minutes. You got chicken, rice, beans, tomatoes, corn. Can you see it? Time to head back. I don't want to be in the water when it's too dark, otherwise, I won't be able to see. <clears throat> Plus, I, w I don't have a light on my kayak, so back to the campsite. So, the sun just set, and I just changed the other clothes I had a little bit sweaty. Nah, I wouldn't feel comfortable sleeping in them, in them things inside the sleeping bag. It's real nice. It's fresh. It's not hot. I'm ready to go inside my tent. I'm going to test it out for the first time. So unfortunately, I didn't catch anything today. Maybe in the morning. If not, I will. At least I brought the kayak. Brought my fishing rods. Took advantage of the time. Took the day off work. Just enjoyed myself. And uh, I recommend you guys do that too. Life is too short. Take advantage. And uh, right now I'm going to take advantage of reading one of my books. Sitting in there. And just wait for it to get dark. I'll see you in the morning. folks I slept not very well because I didn't bring my sleeping pad and my back hurts but overall everything was fine it's fresh it's a little bit chilly I should have brought my my hoodie but I didn't I just have a, a short sleeve and uh, overall this tent is pretty good it's spacious now it's only for one person and uh, if you have a whole bunch of stuff that you don't want to leave out uh, you're probably not gonna fit I had about my rush 12 511 backpack and my level 6 511 backpack and my carry-on I guess to pack and uh, it's a bit tight it's still manageable and uh, I'm impressed with this tent I didn't put the rain fly on it which is 
good too. It didn't rain. Uh, you can see I use it as a tarp. I highly recommend it. It's spacious for me. You know I'm a little guy. And uh, this is what I wake up to. Beautiful morning. I was waking up throughout the night. Kept hearing some noises along the water, along the shoreline. And uh, the fishes are feeding right now, obviously. You can hear them. And uh, I tried fishing earlier. I tried to record it, but it was too dark. Uh, I didn't have any luck. But uh, I'm gonna tour around. I'm gonna make some breakfast. If I am, I'll record it. If not, well, that's probably gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna show you guys. Here they have a whole bunch of nopales, cactus, I guess you call it in English. But man, my mom taught me how to make uh, nopales with tacos. You know, just take the thorns off, you know, and then uh, boil them a little bit with some oil. And uh, put some eggs with tortilla de harina. Perfect. Next time, whenever I have some time, I'll, I'll show you how I cook them. But on that right there, that prickly pear, you must not know about that, but I know how to make some uh, prickly pear jelly. You know, if you want to put it on your toast or whatever, there's a process to it. And uh, if I find uh, if I find enough prickly pears next time, I'm going to also show you guys how to make the prickly pear jelly. But it is delicious. So I came over here to the loading dock, loading and unloading dock. And I believe this is the only one that's open in this park. Uh, the other ones uh, were blocked off. I'm pretty sure they were damaged with the flood. But uh, this one's pretty steep. And I wish I had a fish finder. Whoa, this is strange. the root grew into the turtle should have brought some boots well folks that concludes the video for today had an awesome afternoon, evening, night, morning, and uh, I didn't catch anything, but it was okay, you know, at least I got to spend some time out here with the kayak. Like I said, it's been a couple years since I haven't taken it out, so I enjoyed it. I forgot how much fun it is to be out there in the kayak, in the water, uh, wetting your fishing line. Now, my overall experience, 9 out of 10, you know, I'd definitely come back. And uh, this is definitely one of the spots that I'll, I'll definitely bring my family. And uh, maybe some more, more fishing gear and be a little bit more prepared. Now it's time to go home. The wife's waiting on me. And uh, I said I was going to make some uh, breakfast, but my wife makes the best breakfast. She ain't, she ain't too far from here, so... Might as well uh, 
catch her while she's uh, still at the house. I don't know when I'm gonna make make the next video, but uh, I hope to see you guys soon. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on my videos. You know that'll encourage me to make some more. If not, that's fine. You know, but overall, I'm doing this. You know, just to have fun, document my adventures, our adventures.